equivalent to the Russian gulag and the thought reform camps of the Chinese. Scientology Inc., the Church of Scientology, have this horrific program that I speak out about a lot called the RPF, Rehabilitation Project Force. And in the 80s, in the 1980s, tremendous research was done to find out the efficiency of the RPF. I mean within the church? Within the church. Yeah. Did, were there any success? Did anyone become a better staff member after being clobbered with all rights taken away? And it really has been proven through the years. I don't know one person that suffered this amount of punishment and deprivation that ever then became a success story. The church knows this program doesn't work. The church knows that this is just domination and atrocity, but it keeps doing it. It will not change. It's supposed to be a correction facility. Um, it is a place where you go and you are supposed to um, be able to study five hours a day on a, a, a correction program um, to handle whatever you had done wrong, to address with the technology whatever it is that you had done wrong. Um, I've been on it a few times. Um, and that program, it's, it's um, hard to describe, but it's like a slave labor type of program where um, you, the first couple times I just worked two years around, the, you know, four hours sleep a night, two years straight, um, got almost zero enhancement. But now to the secret compound that's been labelled degrading and inhumane with allegations of men, women and children being kept virtual prisoners working full time and living in appalling conditions. And the incredible thing is it's right in the middle of a suburban neighbourhood. Here's Brian Seymour with this world exclusive report with those who've escaped and are now speaking out. This is the Australian prison. Right there, you're telling me kids, adults, foreign nationals are kept there, basically held prisoner, right here in the heart of Sydney, pretty much. Shane's story is one of shocking abuse, child abuse. It's one of a child being enslaved. There it is, hiding in plain sight, a compound in the middle of suburbia, a place where children and adults are sent to be punished and corrected in awful ways. Shane Kelsey is 21 years old. Until just over a year ago, he had never used the internet, watched television, or followed the media. You're not allowed to read any books other than Scientology books. You can't read newspaper, no radio, no movies, nothing. Shane says he was held captive and groomed to see all of us on the outside as pathetic, useless, stupid. So I lived in a garage until they got flooded by a storm and my mum got really pissed off and said, what the hell? And so I got moved into a closet. It is a closet under the stairs, maybe two metres long and a metre wide. This is the true Australian headquarters of the Church of Scientology. In the Sydney suburb of Dundas lies the RPF base. It stands for Rehabilitation Project Force. It's where Scientologists are sent for punishment and training for crimes that most of us would regard as trivial. You know, it's just propaganda called rehabilitation. Uh, another factor that was found in analysis was that 70% of people do the RPF flee within years. Mike Rinder did the RPF, I did the RPF. I don't think Marty did the RPF, but I can name a host of people on ex-Scientology message board, like Sheila, who lives in Australia, just a 
slew of people all did the RPF. And <laughs> it's it's a thought reform. Take away every right you have, and we'll train you to think the way we want to. And that is that management is all good, and David Miscavige is holier than thou, and evil was within you. And then um, after that comes a long list of questions where you're asked like, well, did you ever say anything um, negative about Scientology? Did you ever um, indicate to anyone that Ellen Hubbard, you know, something bad about Ellen Hubbard? Question after question after question after question. And for each of those, it follows the same procedure. And after it's all done, you have to realize that you were deluded. That's part of the, they call it the in phenomena of the procedure. Um, it goes on usually for months, every day, and you're constantly looking for the evil in you, like why, you know. And at the end, you think they're all great people. And it was all your own evil purposes that made you deluded. And you don't get off the RPF until you've, you've had that realization. I asked to route out from this organization in um, February of uh, 1997, or, yeah, 1997, <coughs> and I was not allowed to. I basically was on the Rehabilitation Project Force, and um, I was told that I was not allowed to route out and I was not allowed to leave. I was stuck there, and I had somebody watching me, always, 24 hours a day. I had to have a buddy with me. I had someone shining a flashlight in my face at night while I was sleeping every two hours to make sure I was still in bed. Um, on the few occasions that I did manage to run away, I was tackled and brought back physically There's a guy called Bill Price, um, who was in charge of finance at InPace for a long time. And he, he was ordered by Miscavige to sell gold. The church had acquired a massive amount of gold. And Bill knew that gold would go up, up, up. And he didn't obey Miscavige. And Miscavige found out and went ballistic. Tossed him in the RPF where he's been for the last 12 years. And the gold was sold off at $300 an ounce. What is it now? Oh, over $1,200. Yeah. yeah. But he's doing the RPF for not selling the gold. Yeah, and gold even went up close to $1,800 an ounce. Yeah, but you see that? Did you see the power? One man can do that in the next 12 years of your life. No day off. Slave labor. Miscavige runs the length and breadth of Scientology with a dark heart and an iron fist. There isn't anybody else.